Well, she's... busty. I wonder what role she plays in this. I've got what you need. Window shopper, eh? Journal entry. This receipt looks ancient. A horn? It's heavy. Journal entry, September 2nd, 1834. I will not tolerate dissent among my organization. Constance has challenged me once too often. So in response, I've had Lucian smash all her phonograph records. Save one, which she seems to have hidden and now plays incessantly as an act of rebellion. Being trapped has not done her mind well. Guess this was her last record. I wonder what happened to Constance. They must be really proud of their product. The serial number is way too big. Mm. A horn? It's heavy. Wonder if I can fix this. Excuse me? Apologies, my beauty. It's not every day these eyes fall on someone so vibrant as yourself. The name's Elijah Price, gadabout and entrepreneur. How do you do, Ms. Erica? You look like an Erica. Lovely Erica with the bright red hair. And what are you doing in a pit like this? You do know they kill people here, right? I heard. But apparently, I can't leave until I break some spell first? You're looking for the witch, then. The witch? There's two of them, actually. The old crone that lives in the attic. Not sure anyone's ever seen her. But then there's the other one, the succubus. The one who got me. You've been here a while? Ages. Have you seen a girl named Angie? Uh, doesn't ring any bells. Friend of yours? Yeah. Until she went missing. That was a few years ago, though. I'll keep my ears open. What about... Crows, I think it was. Ah, the master of the house. Him, I know. I take it he's been speaking to you. Sort of. Don't believe what he says. Don't believe anyone here, really. Even you? <laughs> okay. That was seriously rude.
record. No. They're everywhere. Gear. Of course. I may have underestimated you. Then again, I may have overestimated Victor. Crows, I presume? At your service. Somehow I doubt that. It's an expression. Why are you still alive? Why are you trying to kill me? You're searching for someone, aren't you? Some evil witch, apparently. No. Who are you really searching for? What do you mean? Someone named... Angie? What do you know about Angie? Is she here? Uh, hello? Answer me! 
Journal entry, April 17th, 1922. Truth told, the animal carcasses nauseate me. I've never been one for violence against man nor beast. Constance claims she was gifted the heads by a great hunter she seduced long before we came to this house. Several times I've had them taken down, but she always finds opportunity to put them back up again. These people are weird. This is seriously awful. A needle, like a record player uses. Let's see what song it plays. Uh, what do these switches do? Let's play it again. They must be really proud of their product. The serial number is way too big. Journal entry, September 2nd. Let's play it again. creepy doll. Ugh. Guess you're guarding something, huh? Gross! No. 
Try this one out. Locked, locked, locked. More of these things? They keep coming. It doesn't do it. I can't use this yet. works.
More gears. Another gear. Wait, where did that doll go? It doesn't do anything. Lamest garage door ever. Let's get out of here. Stay back!
I really should have tried to hotwire that car. You're getting pretty good at not dying. Ugh, you again. Why don't you quit being such a smartass and help me? Help you what? I'm transparent. Wait, uh, translucent? Which one means I can't touch things? Anyway, what's the deal with that Angie girl? Were you spying on me? Uh, no. Angie was my best friend in junior high. We used to explore mysteries together. God, that sounds so lame now. Like this house? Yeah. Everything we discovered, we put in this notebook. It's hers, actually. We were planning to come here next before she... went missing. And you think she died here? I don't know, but Crows mentioned her name. How long have you been stuck here? Too long, but enough about me. You're going after that sexy witch next, right? The one in the ballroom? I guess. Her name's Constance. Also, I forgot to mention, you have to beat them all by morning. Wait, what? Yeah, or else you become a ghost. House rules. So you better pick up the pace. How do you know all this? Like I said, I get around. I noticed. I thought when you died here, you were stuck in one spot forever. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna mope around in some hallway like Romeo McBowtie back there. That's not my style. Quit spying on me, Keaton! Gross! <laughs> 